Hello there and welcome to Mastering Python from Basics to Machine Learning. I'm Gunnar, assistant professor and software developer with over 30 years of experience and I'm super excited to teach you about the ins and outs of Python and data science. This comprehensive course is designed to teach you everything you want to know about Python and more. Now whether you're a complete beginner or looking to enhance your Python skills, there's something here for everyone. We'll start from the ground up taking our time to understand basic and intermediate topics, building a solid foundation before moving on to more advanced and complex concepts. By the end of this course, you'll have the confidence to write advanced Python programs all by yourself. The course is broken down into several key sections, each broken down further into lectures with practical exercises and projects. We'll start with Python basics like data structures and control flow before moving to the more intermediate topics like object-oriented programming and, and error handling. We'll look at data, analytics and visualization. And in order to do this, we'll look at libraries like NumPy and Pandas, of course, some key libraries, but also lesser known ones like GeoPandas and, and Folium before moving on to web development, web scraping, and then ultimately machine learning, where we'll look at supervised, unsupervised, and deep learning. In each section, you'll get lots of hands-on exercises and we'll build projects together to really solidify your understanding. Now, why exactly should you learn Python? Very simply, Python is very easy to learn, it's versatile, and it's super powerful. It's known for its simple syntax that resembles the English language, which makes it an ideal choice for beginners and experts alike. Python is also used in many different fields, from web development with sites like, like Pinterest and Dropbox and Instagram, to machine learning and artificial intelligence. So if you have Siri or Alexa at home, they all run Python under the hood, to automation to making repetitive tasks more easy. It comes with a large standard library, and it enjoys the support of a huge community. Not only that, but it often ranks as one of the most popular programming languages in surveys and indices, especially amongst programmers. By the time that you finish this course, you'll have a very good understanding of Python syntax and general programming principles. You'll master control structures and data structures, get to grips with file handling and error handling and object-oriented programming, know how to, to analyze and visualize data, or build a web application with Flask and develop a solid foundation for advanced data science and machine learning concepts. But this course is much more than just ticking off boxes. It's about developing a programmer's and data scientist's mindset. You'll learn to ask the right questions and how to address problems systematically. There are a couple of things that you can do to really get the most out of this course. First of all, set aside some regular learning time, maybe 30 minutes a day. Also, don't just watch these videos, code along. There's no better way to learn than to do. We have a fantastic Discord community. Join and engage with other learners, share your experiences. And finally, try your new skills on real world problems. Personal projects are a fantastic way to learn and also help build your portfolio. And there you have it. In this course, you learn everything from basic Python to advanced concepts in great detail and everything in between. You get to do plenty of exercise and projects to make sure that you consolidate your learning and get lots and lots of practical experience. So hopefully by the end of this course, you'll be an absolute Python wizard ready to land your first coding job. Next time, we'll get you set up with your own programming environment and you'll start writing your first Python scripts. Before you go, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this course. It helps me tremendously to grow as a channel. So for now, I'll see you in the next video.